All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be uh, talking about Gradle, uh, build types, release, debug, and a couple of other little things. So the first thing we're going to do is you know, talk about our build type. So we're in our build.gradle file. Uh, I've got errors here, by the way, <laughs> showing up in my log. I'll just minimize those out of the way. I don't think you better see them anyway because my, I zoom up my screen. Anyway, build types, release. Uh, this is by default. It's set to this. So what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, make a few changes here, but we need to explain what build types are. So build types essentially are modific or uh, different ways of compiling your code to work on an Android system. So if you run the code, just click the run button here, okay? It automatically does what's called, it assembles a debug variant of the code. So it just says, okay, this is a debugging app or a debugging version. So it runs a debug uh, variant and it's, you know, signs it with a debug key store, blah, 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 and then puts it up on your device over the Android developing bridge. So you can run it. So let's take a look at these build variants here, okay? So in the, top, in the left here, we've got two build variants. Now, in order to get this little window up, down in the very bottom left-hand corner, you won't be able to see this, but there's a, a button saying Build Variants. If you don't have that button, down in the very bottom left, there's a little, like, it looks like a little grey square. Click that, and it shows the Build Variants thing on the left. Then you can look at that. So anyway, there's our Build Variants. And we've got two ones here, Debug and Release. So let's, take, let's figure out what uh, our Debug is. So if we run a Debug Variant... Naturally enough, it'll it, it, you know, it says on the bottom a Gradle assemble debug and it runs the app on the emulator. Voila, easy mode. So let's look at uh, what the release variant is. Let's, let's run a release. Let's, let's install the release version of the app onto this. Okay. So now it's given us an APK inst uh, installation failed because a release version of the app has to have a signed ver has to be signed. Now the debug version is signed for you by a by Android Studio in what's called it's just it it, it 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 signs it with a debugging key store. So we need to create our key store. So let's figure that out. So we're going to go to build generate signed APK because we can you know there's a wizard here for generate signed APK. So we're going to create a new and we're going to go to our key store path. So I'm just going to put this in my C development. I'm going to create a new pro thing called key stores. Okay. And we're just going to call this a uh, Gradle key store. Okay. Password. That's actually wrong. I miss. I hit a key. So we're going to just do our usual, you know, password. You can pick this password to be anything you like. Okay, that password could be anything. So now we need an alias. So we're just going to call this, you know. Twisted alias and our password. These aren't really, you know, used for much. They're just used to uh, do things. Validity. Set to 99 years. And okay. Now, oh, we need a thing here. So we'll just set it. Paddy. Okay, so now remember password. Next, I will specify master password for my database of Android Studio. Set password. Okay, so now we've created our our uh, signed APK. So we're going to cancel all this. So we can't actually build a release variant because we haven't defined our signing configs. So let's figure that out now. So, let's go into Android here. We need to create a, a signing config to make a new build type. So, we're going to type it in. Actually, just going to copy the code here. I have uh, the the Gradle guide open here, which has all this information already in it. So, you can read that. Uh, new build system, user guide, build types. It's really cool. I'm just trying to explain it as I go along, but it's just so I don't do typos. So, let's take let's create a new config, okay? So we're going to create a new signing config and we're going to call it release. Uh, 
release config. And this can be anything you like, that name can be, you know, you can change it to whatever release you like. So now we need to uh, define our key store and our key store password and stuff like that, which I don't, uh, hmm. So in order to define our release config, we need to uh, set up our store file. Okay, for some reason it's rerunning the project. It's because I pressed F9, because that's my recording thing. So I'm just gonna ignore that for now. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to define our store file. Store file, and then it's file. And we need to move our store file into our project and this can be a bit risky though but it's never actually compiled into the apk so it's never actually put in the apk it's just used to read it and then it compiles all the resources and stuff into a giant code base and releases it as an apk you don't actually find anything there's not there's nothing actually found in the apk so the apk just contains information it does or uh, code it doesn't actually contain your key store let's copy and we're going to paste this into our module. Okay, so now we've got a gradle key store.jks. So let's type that in here. So that's our key store file, ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is create our store password. We need to put in the password we put in the store. Uh, in this case, our store password is one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to put an actual password in there because I don't want people stealing my stuff. Alias. So the alias is twisted. Alias. Oh. I'm getting a Skype message. Yay. And our key password. is there we go so now we've created a release config we've set up how it's going to be signed so now all we have to do is set our signing config in our build type release so we're going to say this signing config and then that's going to be signing signing configs dot release config okay so this will tell uh, gradle when now when we do our build variant to where to go for our build variant so let's do our release variant and now it should run sign and install on the device automatically unfortunately I've misspelled alias. <laughs> As per usual, I misspell everything, so that's par for the course with me. So we just rerun that. Okay, so as you can see, ah, it's not signed correctly. What is going on at all? Let's go into our generate signed APK and figure out what the hell is going on. I'm just going to copy and paste code from, you know, lines from here because I have a funny feeling I've misspelled something as per usual. Now that's correct. What's my alias? That's correct. Maybe these need to be double quotes or something, I don't know. You never know what this kind of thing so now on live I'm gonna figure out what the hell is going wrong because I can't think of it welcome to programming figuring out what shit when shit goes wrong all the time there we go that was it it for some reason it requires doesn't require single quotes it requires double quotes <sighs> anyway there we go it installed so we just signed and installed our build variant for release so now we've got a release variant and a debug variant. 
let's customize the debug version. So I'm going to create debug. Debug. So what's our debug version going to contain? Well, it's going to contain lots of information. Uh, what we're going to do is we can mark the app as debuggable. So we can just say that. Debuggable and we'll set that to true. And we'll set debuggable false, which by default is false in this, but we'll just customize it. We'll just define that there. So now we've got debuggable true and false, which means that the release version won't release logs, but the build this version will, which is nice. Uh, another thing we can do with these uh, things is we can actually customize a package name suffix. So this is a really, really cool thing we can do. So we can actually say package name suffix. And then we can define this as whatever we like. So we're going to say dot debug, okay? Now, in Android, if you didn't know this, and you should know this by now, um, apps are installed via their package name. So in this case, the package name, if we go to our source folder, Java, it's com.example.gradle stuff. But our, our when we build this, our package name is going to be changed to com.example.gradle or got gradle stuff dot debug now because it's got that dot debug on the end it's actually going to be considered a separate app by the system so you can install the release version and the debug version simultaneously so let's run this and you'll see what happens remember our build variant has to be set to debug so it you know it, it builds the debug version not the release version and that's me minimizing android studio so it's building executing and it should be on the device. So if we go into our all apps, as you can see, we have two versions of Gradle stuff in here. So I'm going to pick one of these up, go to app info, and for some reason it's not showing it up. That's really strange. It should show package name. Oh, that's a little bizarre. I've never seen that one before. Well, I can show you another way. If we start the uh, monitor uh, in, in, a, in our, our Aaron hierarchy file, that's me who was debugging something a while back. Anyway, if we go over here to our file explorer, go into data. Oh crap, you just can't see this because it's going to be clipped off. I'll pull it over. So, file explorer, data, data. These give you all your package names in a list. So, as you can see, com.example.gradle stuff and com.example.gradle stuff.debug. And voila, we have successfully installed two copies of the same app with two different build types. So now, you know, when we go to release our application, we can just build release or we can, uh, you know, run, you know, build, generate signed APK and it'll run on this, figure it all out and away she goes. So that's build types in Gradle and it's really, really cool. Uh, these signing configs, by the way, we can actually customize those even more. So we can create like you know, a debug config and then define a debug config down here for signing config, signing configs that, you know, debug config, which will use, you know, whatever debugging config or key store file we like. By default, our Android has a, de you know, for the debug variant or, you know, the debug build type, it automatically defines uh, Android, doesn't it? A special key store which signs it. And uploads it with a debugging key store but that's essentially how you do this it's a really really neat system uh, gradle is really powerful and that's build types in gradle so the next video we're going to start working on flavors which are even more a little more advanced but they're really cool as well so anyway guys that's build types and the next time we're going to do flavors